Okay, friends. <clears throat> Should you happen to have a child who's not particularly interested in computers and what you can do on computers, this is probably what they come up with in their spare time after breakfast. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Lydia has grabbed two calves out of the barn, and with the use of scrap wood, an old garden wagon, liberal use of baler twine, and a few halters as harness, has apparently harnessed two Jersey calves to pull around a wagon. Lydia, would you explain your, uh, is this art or is this, is this industrial art? Uh, is this practical engineering? What is this, it's Lydia? It's fun. It's fun. There you go. Hopefully I can train them to pull me around someday when they get bigger. Okay, you want them to pull you around someday when you get bigger? When they get bigger. When they get bigger, right. Well, you, you'll be getting a little bigger, too, so. Explain to us what you've done, Lydia. Um, I took a couple ends of an old hammock, which had, of course, holes in it for the hammock strings to go through. And I tied it onto the wagon. This way it keeps them in line better. And then I took this part of an old cow chain collar and put it on here, bungee corded it on this side, tied them to the... Um, thing of this wagon so that it can turn the handle. Yeah. So this is Leona and this is Pickles. Yes, yeah, so well I think we've all met Leona and Pickles, but never as driving calves. <laughs> okay, well I would imagine they're pretty green yet as drivers. Would you want to move it ahead for me so you <laughs> so we can see them do their work? It looks like Lydia is probably providing most of the work right now, but at least uh, the training process is happening. <laughs> okay. Well, you too, friends, can try this at home. Good luck to you. Okay. Camera's running out of battery and storage, so thanks for enduring.